Nobody be like, heck, what you, yo, you, you all it. Nah, that's how the niggas performing before. Here we go. Um, nah, award show performance. Award show performance. Yeah, he got to come out. I figured you know, out. He look like a slave, like a real slave, bro. What? What the fuck, dog? Look like a real slave. What? What are we? He was looking scrappy. Yeah, this one right here. Oh, the Grammy. See? And you got to remember, you got to do some Grammy like Kendrick Lamar Grammy performance. So yeah, we got to bring out the slave chains. Uh, so yes, real talk. Right here. Yeah, yeah, we gotta bring out the slave chains. Real talk. Why can't we find? It's 2016. Oh yeah. So that's the part of damn. The Grammys into one. Oh, y'all can't see my bad. Right here. You see this right here? We gonna be all right. He got to showcase prison oppression or slave oppression. Got to have chains, whips, all that type of sh. You feel me? Um, that's like some Kendrick. You feel what I'm saying? You know what, man? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, show jail cells, oppression, nigga getting shot by the police. Wait, I don't know if they can do all that because that's. <laughs> yo, what is act? Well, yo, what is act on, bro? Man, put that vodka bottle down. What? Yo, who mans is this, man? Hey, who mans is this? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I'm about to come with a crazy title for this one. Oh yeah, hey chat, give give me some title names that that I can come with this one. D DJ Academics needs to be canceled, racially profiling something. I'm about to come with a crazy title on this one. Help me out, chat. The Super Bowl, but yeah, something like that. Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he got to do all this, something like this. I'm keeping it to me. Keep it to me. If anybody disagree with me. This is how this thing came up, so don't don't even try. So, all yeah, right. I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm sure going to do it. With the prison chains, slavery. This was slavery. Slavery. Facts. Slavery. Slavery? Bingo. So, here we go. With prison chains and slavery? What the fuck? I bet. Now, here's the thing. After that, it's fucking Super Bowl. Niggas is losing their fucking livelihood. <laughs> Niggas is betting. We all know who's going to the Super Bowl. Who's in the script again to go? The fuck? I tell me who's gonna be in the script, but we all know after that. Let me see. I know what song's gonna come up next. Oh, okay, chat. Y'all know <laughs> you got light in the mood, and plus the NFL got sponsors. So first of all, you can't have everybody depressed. Everybody's losing money. You got light in the mood after you got DJ Academics. Tell Kendrick Lamar bring back slavery. <laughs> DJ Academics tells Kendrick Lamar to bring back slavery. Yeah, I like that one. DJ Academics. Says Kendrick Lamar has to perform music, <laughs> oppress music to perform Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I like those. I like those. Racist Jamaican academics calls for K Dot to be a slave. <laughs> I like that one. Hold on. I need to. I need to copy. I need to take screenshots of this. Oh, that was a good one. And they can say DJ Academics says K Dot racial slurs. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, I like that. These are good. DJ, to bring black slavery. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. DJ Academics in Jamaican. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Real political. You got to come back with some shit that promotes one of the NFL sponsors, which is all yeah, the companies. Like and you basically got to be like, yo, pull up, <laughs> drink. Headshot, drink. Sit down, drink. Stand up, drink. Good. You're promoting the liquor companies that support the NFL. So you got to perform swimming pools. Bingo. Here's the kicker. Once you get to swimming pools, Yo, remember, halfway, this is a we shitting the fuck DJ on Drake Academics concert. Sense, Ray, sure you got to bring out Jay-Z. Yup, yup. You got to bring out Jay-Z. Jay-Z is, uh, um, <laughs> is on. Academic says Kendrick has to be a slave to perform the Super Bowl. <laughs> a remix, I believe, fuck? right? Jay-Z's on the remix. You bring out Jay-Z. Remember, you got to bring people out. So this is the first person he brings oh, out, Jay-Z. Also, here's the thing. Kendrick has to diversify how he does his guest because two years ago or three years ago when Dr. Dre did it, I like those. with, I like with the those. exception of Mary like J. Blige, obviously Eminem, and, um, but Eminem made sense because, you know, Aftermath, you know, um, um, Aftermath Shady, and 50 Cent, with the exception of them, it was pretty much West Coast. So you're not trying to have a West Coast type thing in New Orleans. So him bringing out Jay-Z, cool, 
Right? Now, after this, where are we going to go with it, chat? This is good. This is good. All right, right, cool. So now Jay-Z gets that. He throws up the rock. He winking at Drake. You know, Drake, Drake going to be somewhere hurt because as a motherfucker. Like, I don't care. Yo, Drake, could be, in, Drake could be having the biggest orgy in Turks. I don't give a fuck. When Drake see, Damn. yo, all of a sudden, big nose Jay-Z like, yo, it's your boy. Oh. <laughs> throwing up the fucking Illumin. Wait, what? Make, make slavery great again. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? DJ Academic disrespect black American culture. It says make <laughs> it say make slavery great again. Oh shit, that is wild. Oh, that's wild. Boy, hey, boy, y'all going off in the chat. What the fuck? That's wild. Um but in the next sentence. Wild. Because you know, after Matthew, you know, um, um after my shady. Oh, and 50 shit. Cent. With the exception of them, it was pretty much West Coast. Hey, so you're not trying cool. to have a West Coast type thing in New Orleans. So him bringing out Jay-Z, cool, right? Now, after this, where are we going to go with it, chat? This is good. This is good. All right, cool. So now Jay-Z gets that. <laughs> he throws up the rock. He winking at Drake. You know, Drake, Drake going to be somewhere hurt as a motherfucker. Like, I don't care. You know, Drake could be in. Drake could be. DJ Academics says he must bring Lil Wayne as a slave. Ooh. Ooh. Academics. Tells Kendrick Lamar to bring Drake as a slave owner with Lil Wayne chained up. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. The colonizer Drake is going to is going to bring out Lil Wayne as a slave. <laughs> with uh, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Get that one. Having the biggest orgy in Turks. I don't give a fuck. When Drake see, yo, all of a sudden, big nose Jay-Z like, yo, it's your boy, ho! Throwing up the fucking Illumin, ho! <laughs> like, you know what I mean? All of that fuck shit, like, I don't care where Drake is at. His stomach gonna be turning. Facts, no diddy. You feel me? Like, come hey. on, we all know, it's your boy, ho! <laughs> like, I'm telling you, bro, trust. So, cool. After that, where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? Hmm. I think we should go loyalty. Rihanna, you do a medley with swimming pools, get Jay-Z, throw up the rock, Rihanna pops out instantly, six fucking problems, you're doing only the thing, ASAP comes out only for the hook, him, Rihanna, kiss on stage, ASAP got the baby in his hand, right, so you do the fucking problems verse after the Rihanna shit, Rihanna and ASAP, kiss, announce a third baby, <laughs> right, they're all throwing up the Illuminati symbols, Rocky's wearing a dress, he <laughs> said Rihanna, <laughs> announces the third baby. <laughs> All right, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. I got it. What? The third baby. <laughs> All right, that was another good one. All right. <laughs> Rihanna and Rocky ASAP kiss announces the baby. <laughs> All right, that was a good one. I'll give you, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that. That was a good one. That was a good one. Sir killed some shit. They announced that Rihanna pregnant again. Jay Z <laughs> is just like fucking signaling to the Illuminati people, whatever you do. Perfect. <laughs> this is exactly the script. What the fuck? This works. Uh, what? Then, then we go more. We gotta keep it cultural, people. We do DNA eight. No, DNA medley with you don't even get to the verses. You just do the chorus, but you gotta have 30 people. You know Kendrick, Kendrick be marching like he's a marching man with 30 niggas around him. They're all really like robotic, right? They're not really dancing, but they're definitely choreo, like some choreographed shit. Then you do, be humble, sit down. You get what I'm saying? The whole audience, oh shit. You just gotta run through songs. DNA, be humble. Those songs ain't that big enough that you do a whole thing. Yo, I got, I'm like, uh, 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 whatever, the DNA thing. Okay, cool. Then be humble, sit down. You just do the choruses of both. Okay, bet. Where we at with it? Damn. Where we at with it, chat? I need to help me with this shit. The fuck we writing a script? This stuff is the illest script. Nobody take our shit. What song would will Kung Fu Kenny have to keep doing? Kung Fu Kenny. You say Family Ties? Mmm. Okay. 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 Remember, this is we're black and we're proud. Fist in the air. So that's the wrong song. What, what's the wrong song? Oh, he got to do like that. He got to do like that. Yeah, Maurice, why you want me to drink, bro? I do have my, yeah, I even drink, drink since I started stream. Man, how you know this? Yes, eight, like that. Diss Drake again. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's the middle of the performance. Make sure you diss that nigga again. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Yo, let's call it what it is. Diss bro, let's again. call it what it is. Like that, diss Drake again. 
Bring out, okay, bring out Future, The Weeknd. I don't even know The Weeknd on this song. Bring out The Weeknd. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> um, even Metro, Metro just gonna come out there and just like act like he playing drums. <laughs> bring Metro out too. Bring him out. <laughs> Fuck it. Right? <laughs> Bet. What so we got fuck? Future, Weekend, Metro. Like that. I like that. Matter of fact, bring out Nav. Just bring him out, bro. <laughs> bring, bring out Nav. Hold on. In v t t-shirt. Yes. Yes, let's do it. Might as fucking well. Might as well, bro. Might as well. Just disrespect. Uh, disrespect. Might, chat, might as well. <sighs> okay. We're doing it good right now. You see, because let's be honest, chat. If you think it's not going to be like this, I know somebody I'm like, yo, act, yo, you just joke. You, I see everybody laughing. Nigga, I'm telling a joke, but it ain't funny because this is real. I'm going to tell you why. What Kendrick is good at is coding a diss into some real shit. Bro, his Super Bowl announcement, he coded a response to Drake. You think the Super Bowl performance, he won't code disrespect? The culture is going to get it. I think everybody else is going to be like, oh, okay, really good songs. We're going to clearly get it. You feel what I'm saying? All right. Money Tree's got to be performed? Okay, Money Trees. One minute of it. One minute of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. We got about three or four more songs. Remember, um, these performances are about 20 minutes. So when I was at the Super Bowl, when Usher performed, like, this is a long, it's, it's really about like 35, 40 minutes. That, that's the whole break. Um, but the performance starts around like 20 to, it's about 20 to 25 minutes long. Matter of fact, we can look it up, right? We can look it up. Let, let's look. Let's look it up. Um, so Usher full Super Bowl halftime show. Oh, why do you only say thirteen minutes? Oh wow, really? All right, anyway, we, we can't we can't do too much. By the way, I don't think he does Money Trees, but whatever. I feel like I'm missing another Kendrick song. What songs am I missing? Uh, I'm looking on Spotify. All right, get. Stop playing, man. Get that nigga mic too. King's Den or King Kunta? Nah, fuck that. After that, not like us two times. That's a real nigga show. I ain't gonna lie. And y'all know uh, Drake's my man's. But this is how, like, if, if, if Kendrick don't do this, he pussy. Real talk. This, it gotta go like this. If he don't, if he don't do this, nigga, he not standing on business like how he talking like he standing on business. You feel me? Because he been talking like he standing on business. Yeah. So this is it right here. Not like us started, right? <laughs> Go to Mad City. We gonna be all right. Bitch don't kill my vibe. Loyal to Rihanna. Bring out ASAP Rocky. Um, no, yeah, so Jay comes out here. You gotta bring out Jay. It's your boy. It's the rock. It's the rock. Yeah, I, I wanna hear all that shit. You feel me? Even though Loki, we all know we all know Jay Z is ducking all public appearances until Diddy gets sentenced to life in prison. So we know he's not coming out here. That's a fact. We don't know, Jay. Jay Z is ducking. There will be no more brunches until Diddy is doing five consecutive life sentences and he pokes his head up and said. Are y'all satisfied with just him? Y'all are? I bet. Yo, brunch back next year. Facts. We all know what it is. What the fuck? So, Jay might not come out. The only way Jay don't come out is if he realize, oh shit, they got Diddy. They still trying to get Mo. What the That's fuck? That's the only way. Damn. Oh, y'all must have not heard. Oh, y'all ain't here. Y'all ain't here that they'll serve Russell Simmons with some shit? Oh my God. Damn, is that how you feel? Jay Z still ducking all public um, um, pop ups, and we all know that's what's going on, right? Damn, that's how you feel? Nigga, the only place we've seen Jay-Z in the last two years is at a white party, nigga. Come on, nigga. Let's be clear. Damn. No more brunches. No more Made in Americas. No more none of that shit. Damn. You feel me? I think him and I know a few others, like a couple of them hit me to tell me they're trying to stay low. And I'm like, nigga, you know I'm telling you, right? Like, I'm going to say that you're trying to like lay low. Yeah, half of these things are laying low. Um, the word in the industry is that they're, they're waiting for Diddy to take the fall for everybody. So Diddy's supposed to go down. But if, if Diddy's the person we've been hearing that he is, he won't go without a fight or without snitch on everybody. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So um, all these things are just ducking. You know what I mean? Ducking, there's laying low. All right? I'm not saying they're guilty of nothing. I'm just saying they're laying low. Like, <laughs> no more public appearances until Diddy goes down. You feel me? Damn. And the wave is over. Well, that's what they expect. They feel like after Damn. people, after Diddy goes down, you know, uh, remember with the last Me Too thing? All right, shut up. All right, so let's get to where he, he calls act. I mean, calls. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so this is the last of the last right here because now he's going to call WAC 100 and then they're going to talk about, uh, you know, Top 5 and Drake and Kendrick and the whole beef right here. All right, so here we go. Last stretch, all right? This is the seventh inning. All right, everybody stretch. All right. All right, feeling good. Hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button, man. How, how, how many, how many, how many, how many, how many likes we looking at, man? Can we get 300? Let's get 300 likes. Can we, can we get 300 likes? We got 400 people. Can we get 300? All right. 
is the last of the last. All right. Whew. Nigga, we made it. All right, everybody stretch. Get a cup of water. All right. This is the last inning, okay? Last inning. Hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. <laughs> last inning. Woo! All right, you ready? Let's get it.